Okay, so one and the hermit. So the hermit card is like overall. Somebody had been, you know, in isolation. Somebody had been away from people. They ghosted a lot of people. And they gained, you know, went within to investigate, I would say, with this hermit card. Yeah, they kind of ghosted the world. They went within to investigate and they gained a lot of knowledge, inner knowing, inner wisdom. Because they know they have a new beginning, Ace of Wands. They want to start a new beginning towards new ventures in life. Could be, you know, start a new beginning with a new part with someone else, like a new person. Could want to be intimate with someone. They could want to get away with someone with this hermit card. Yeah, the will of fortune. They could have found out that they have, you know, a destiny with the will of fortune. They have good luck. And the will, you know, will turn in their favor as they walk in positivity and get away from negativity. Yeah, they were in regret at the Five of Cups about something. Maybe they, they were in regret for not believing something that you said. Five of Cups is all about non-believers. Um, they were probably in regret, you know, for... Regret and embarrassment is what I'm hearing and the shame for not believing something that you said or you spoke to them. Yeah, nine of wands and they real nervous. Something occurred over and over and over again. So they were left wounded, feeling battered and bruised, feeling left alone, feeling abandoned in whatever situation that they were in. After they didn't believe something that you said to them. Yeah, two of pentacles. And they're trying to balance things out right now. They could be just juggling between thoughts and finance trying to figure this out at the two of pentacles. And feeling the need to, you know, balance something out. Balance this situation out. Could be, you know, something they didn't believe that you told them. And then they got, you know, wasn't paying attention to the red flags and got caught up in something. And now they're at the two of pentacles. Having to balance a situation out. Yeah, the star is here. This person look at you as somebody that's a healer. Somebody that's spiritually woke. Somebody that teaches and lead people. You pour out love to people. You can get people's attention with this star card. You've healed. From whatever you have went through over and over and over again. Yeah, Ace of Cups. You finally start taking, you know, showing yourself some love at the Ace of Cups and taking care of yourself. Yeah, Knight of Cups. You could have been always the type of person that was just always at the Knight of Cups showing people love or coming in quick with love for people or wanting to do for people. And this person also, you know, they want to express the way they feel about you. This person want to connect with you overall. They see you as somebody that's, you know, healing energy. A person that they want to be around. And they're in regret because they didn't believe you. They feel wounded. Yeah, King of Swords and Three of Cups. This person want to speak the truth to you about something. They could want to speak their truth. This King of Swords card. And then three of cups is like over overall reconciliation, reconnecting. They could want to celebrate with you, party with you. Or just get together with you. Three of cups. Strength in the reverse and eight of wands. So this person feel like they don't, they're not strong enough to, you know, send you a message or come towards you. Eight of Wands and then strength in the reverse. They don't feel strong enough to come towards you or even send you a text message. Yeah.
Oh. Yeah, five of pentacles. They could be feeling low. Yeah, five of pentacles is like feeling low. Maybe this person is like going through some stuff. And they don't feel like they're strong enough to come towards you or even, you know, communicate with you quickly. Because they're going through something where they, you know, feel low. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, Page of Wands, but they do want to communicate with you overall. The Page of Wands is here. It's like a messenger. Someone wants to send you a message. They could, you know... Want to have someone else send you the message, I will say. Page of Wands. Because they're not strong enough to send you the message. Yeah, justice is here. Situation being balanced out. So they could have been in a situation, you know, in the justice system. Yeah, justice is here. And it could be away from people in solitude, four swords, in isolation. Yeah, this person could be like literally in jail. And they could be like getting out of jail. Yeah, two of swords. A lot of people could be sitting back confused. Two of Swords is here. Some people may think this person is blinded at the Two of Swords from the truth. They can't see properly. They could also think that this person is at the Seven of Cups confused. Because they tried to create illusions and confusions around this person. So this person could be blinded from the truth at the Two of Swords. Two of Swords and Seven of Cups. Yeah, all because they didn't want this person to walk away Eight of Cups in a reverse from a toxic situation or situationships. It didn't have to just be one, you know, situation or relationship. It could be overall different situations, friendships, love relationships, you know, Overall situationships. Yeah, the hangman is here. This person felt stuck, or maybe people, you know, wanted this person to be stuck in a situation facing jail time or prison. So this person wouldn't be able to walk away eight of cups from toxicity. Hangman is here. As this person is, you know, getting enlightened. Having patience, called to have patience, cleansing, healing. Yeah, from toxicity. They were attached to people that are binded to bad habits with this devil card. People that overall had addictions, obsessions. This person could have had addictions different obsessions that they needed to, you know, heal. And that's why they were, you know, stuck in a hangman position, getting enlightened. Caught to have patience so they could get woke. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, because God wants to give, give this person something at the Ace of Pentacles. God wants this person to start a new venture at the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so God had been working behind the scenes at the Three of Pentacles. Building on this person. This person had been building Three of Pentacles. Behind the scenes. Yeah, this person had been backstabbed by multiple people that they thought they were building with as well behind the scenes. Ten of Swords is here. Yeah, they were backstabbed, betrayed at the Ten of Swords by multiple people. 
that wanted them pent down for harsh, painful endings because they didn't want them to walk away. They didn't want them to have a new venture in life and they did not want God to gift this person. But they feel like God would, was not gifting them. Ten of Swords. So they got behind the scenes multiple people and backstabbed this person. Wanted this person to be stuck. Yes, and that's the truth, Ace of Swords Clarity. They thought they would throw this Ten of Wands on this person. Put a lot of stuff in their face they couldn't see and a lot of stuff on their back that they couldn't weigh and they would just be running in circles. Not knowing which way to go, just running in circles. And they would never know the truth as they had the Two of Swords blindfolded from the truth. And then at the Seven of Cups, illusion and confusion. But justice is here. The situation will be balanced out. Yeah, this person is overall building on their self or they want to start building something. But they're building on their self, investing in their self. Seven of Pentacles. And then Knight of Pentacles. They could just be moving slow or feel like they, you know, you could be feeling, you know, feeling like things are moving slow. So this person could feel like things are moving slow, Knight of Pentacles. Whatever they had invested in, Seven of Pentacles. They feel like it's moving slow. Yeah, Page of Cups. Could be because they were emotionally immature about something. Or they just could want to apologize, Page of Cups. They could have made an investment. And the investment, they thought the investment would, you know, get them some quick money. But this investment, Seven of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles, it slowed their money down. It had them losing money and money coming in real, real slow. Whatever investment, whatever they invested in. And it could be, you know, whoever this, you know, toxic situationships that they didn't want to walk away from that they were you know that was toxic overall the devil that had backstabbed them with multiple people and placed you know burdens on this person this is probably what they had invested in and that's why their money is coming in slow yeah this person is sitting back attracted to you at the king of wands they want to move toward they got a heavy passion to move towards you to apologize for not believing you. Page of Cups and then King of Wands. They see you as somebody that's, you know, attractive, a leader. You lead yourself and you go after your goals and this person wants to come after you. Like like they want to go, you know, go after go after their goals. This is how this person wants to come to you. And apologize. Yeah, King of Pentacles. This person is somebody that's a hard worker. Somebody that's stable. This is like a jack of all trades, a, a father figure, a husband, somebody that's money oriented. And they're like, you know, solid with finances. They know how to manage their finances out. King of Pentacles. Yeah, High Priestess. They look at you as somebody that's a high priestess. You tell the truth about situations. You know the truth about situations and people. You can get, you know, you know, secrets is what I'm hearing. They look at you as somebody that's a, you know, could be a tarot card reader, this high priestess. Yeah, but they feel like they're going to be rejected for cups. Maybe they rejected you or just rejected something as they didn't believe you. This person do not want to be rejected is what I'm hearing. Yeah, this person is, you know, see you as a musician. Somebody that manifests, have creativity, foresight, and you have control over what you want out of life. Uh, this person does not want to be rejected. 
Yeah, judgment in the reverse. This person could be going through bad karma. Yeah, bad karma. And they see you as someone that... They hold you high in their eyes. Six of Wands is here. They see you as somebody getting a lot of recognition, a lot of attention. They see you as somebody that has vic having victory. Six of Wands. And they're going through bad karma. Yeah, they see you as their two of cups. This could be your soulmate. They want to work with you. They want to partner up with you. They could just want to come together in love with you as well. But they want to work with you overall. Yeah, but they don't want to, you know, be in the same place, I would say, as the Six of Swords is here. Yeah, they want, they want to, they, you know, they want to sail away and work with you. Six of Swords. And then Queen of Swords. They look at you as somebody that, you know, speaks the truth. You're somebody that's very smart. You have a lot of people that's at the five of wands. Copying you, trying to, com you know, compare their self to you. Secretly in competition with you. All because you spoke the truth about something. And they didn't believe you. Yeah, you spoke the truth. Queen of Swords and five of wands. And a lot of people jumped at the five of ones that they were already at the five of ones, copying you, trying to compete with you, compare to you, send conflict, fights, and arguments to you. As you didn't know, they were secretly in competition with you, secretly copying everything you do. And this person was overall depressed when they found this out, five, three of swords. They were overall depressed when they found out certain people were at the five of ones with you. And they immediately knew that you were speaking the truth, Queen of Swords. So they knew why these people were at the five of ones with you, but they just had went through a three of swords. They were depressed for decisions that they made wrong because they, you know, kept these people attached to them, kept these people around them. And they didn't know how to get rid of these people. Is what I'm hearing. Yeah, they were at a mental prison in their head, nine of swords. They could have ran around her spreading lies, rumors, gossip on you. And they're sitting back at the three of swords heart broke. Because they know you're their two of cups. And they're sitting back trying to figure a situation out. Yeah, they, they're trying to figure a situation out. And they were trying to figure out how to get rid of these people, how to get away from these people. Yeah, Queen of Cups, because they look at you as somebody, you know, that they're in love with. Somebody that's loving, caring, intuitive. You take care of your kids if you have kids. You're just an overall loving person. You know how to balance out emotions. You're emotionally mature. They were heartbroken. Maybe they sat back and didn't believe you, but they believe other people. The lies and rumors that were spread on you. Yeah, death is here. They put it... Something overall came to an end. And it had to come to an end because this person had to go through a rebirth. This person had to get woke. So this person had to go through bad karma. Yeah, page of pentacles in the reverse. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. This person don't want you to feel like they're someone that's childish and don't have much to offer. This this person could sit back and feel like that, you know, that they, you know, don't have nothing to offer. This could be how they're looking at you after, you know, all of this stuff played out. Yeah, this is your twin, four wands. They look at you as somebody that they, you know, 
you have a lot to offer. They look at you as they don't want you to think that they don't have much to offer. They want you to, you know, they overall want to come in union with you. That's what they want to offer you to at least come in union with you and apologize to you for stuff that, you know, for not believing you as you spoke the truth. Yeah, they don't want something to end. The world in the reverse, they don't want this to end. The world in the reverse and then the sun is here. They look at you as somebody that makes them happy. As they realize that, you know, people didn't want things to end as well around them. They didn't want a cycle to end out so they could walk in a new cycle with you and come in union with you at the four of wands. But they got exposed with the sun. A lot of stuff was illuminated and a lot of stuff came to light. Secrets have been revealed. Yeah, this person is at the king of cups in love with you. They look at you as their queen of cups. Yeah, knight of wands and three of wands. This person know what they want out of life, three of wands. And they you look at you as their ultimate happiness, ten of cups. Knight of wands is, you know, they could have been in the past doing a lot of stuff without thinking it through. With this knight of wands card. And they could have thought that they were going to be in and out with you and quick, you know, quickly have sex with you. And it didn't work like that. And this was a secret. This was hidden. You didn't even know this. With the moon card. But God stepped in on this situation. Had to, you know, show this person who you are with the hair font. You're somebody that's committed and loyal. They couldn't just come in and knight of wands you. So this, you know, a lot of stuff happened behind the scenes where this person probably, you know, had, you know, had to go through heavy karma or judgment in the reverse bad karma so they can see you for who you really are. They had to be caught up in situations so they could get woke. They couldn't just come at you at no night of wands energy and be in and out of your life and playing games with you. And you're their twin for wands, their soul and spirit. They couldn't, God was not going to let that, allow that to happen. Yeah, seven of wands. So he had to been blocked out. This person had to been blocked away from you, seven of wands. They could have felt blocked and didn't know why they, you know, didn't have enough strength to come towards you. It's because they had to gain strength. So they could be able to communicate with you, come at you in the correct way. As you will come at this person in a correct way. And this person has to match your energy. Yeah, the fool is here. You overall have new things coming in as this person wants to, you know, take a leap of faith towards you. To express the way they feel. And you're just taking a leap of faith towards new ventures in life. The fool. Yeah, temperance is here. This, you know, he wants to, this person wants to balance things out with you, balance out masculine and feminine energy. And a lot of people wanted to sabotage that. Five of Swords. People that are mentally unstable. They wanted to try to sabotage, you know, you and your twin. Coming into union. Because they're mentally unstable. Jealous. Envious. And wanted to win at all costs to try to defeat y'all. Secretly. These were cowards behind the scenes. Yeah, six of pentacles is here. Whatever you do come back on you tenfold. Good or bad. And that's equal give and take. So whatever you do, it, got, it has to come back tenfold. It just all depends on what you choose to do. What energy you choose to put out, it's coming back to you. But this person look at you as somebody that's their equal. Other people that are that are at the five of swords, they look at you as this person's equal. And that's why they're jealous, envious, mad, want to sabotage the connection.
Yeah, Queen of Pentacles and Six of Cups. These are events that took place in the past, and a lot of people, you know, knew this in the past. This Queen of Pentacles could be like a mother figure. But it's a lot of people that look at you like this in the past. They could look at you as somebody that's very stable, a businesswoman, jack of all trades, a wife, you know, somebody that's like a wife, a mother, you're very money-oriented. You know, you know how to manage our finances and you work hard. And you nurture everything around you. You nurture your home. You nurture your business. You nurture everything that you're attached to. Queen of Pentacles and then Six of Cups. A lot of people knew this in the past. And they look at you as this person's equal. But they wanted to sabotage that. Five of Swords. Yeah, Empress in a Reverse. It was somebody that was an Empress in a Reverse. Somebody that was, you know, codependent. They're not stable. They cannot stand on their own two feet. They're like a control freak. And they want to have control over, you know, this connection. Um, they don't even have control over their self. They don't take care of their kids. They could have tried to trap this person with a baby that was not theirs with this empress in the reverse. And they thought that they would, you know, try to keep their self attached to this person's ten of pentacles, their legacy. Something that they're, you know, not even going to be able to get until they get away from that person, away from certain energies and come in union with you. But these people that's at the five of swords that's mentally, mentally unstable, they didn't know that. They don't know that because they're at the five of pentacles, low vibrational. They're out in the cold. Physically, mentally, and spiritually out in the cold. Looked at as a spiritual disgrace, you know, had been kicked out of their bloodline a long time ago. And still sitting back trying to, you know, attach their self to someone else's ten of, you know, ten of pentacles. Legacies, inheritance, stuff that they built, generational wealth that they create because they're out in the cold at the five of pentacles. They cannot manifest anything as their ancestors haven't left them out in the cold a long time ago because they don't want to do the work. They don't want to heal. They don't want to get to their own ten of pentacles. But yeah, this empress in the reverse. They don't have no control over their self at all. But they thought they would have control over everybody else. And it didn't work. It backfired. At the Seven of Wands. As this person was blocked out from you, they didn't know why. It's because they were attached to an empress in reverse that wanted them to go through blockages. Wanted them to go through trials, tribulations, obstacles, tornadoes, and battles. By staying attached to them. Because they didn't want them to walk away from a toxic situation. Eight of cups in the reverse. Yeah, they didn't want this person to walk away. And move towards somebody that they were in love with. Their soulmate. The lovers is here. They knew that both of you guys felt the same way about each other. And they thought that they would have y'all blocked out. As this person sat back in that energy. You know, this person ended up racking up karma. Bad karma with this person. Judgment in the reverse. This person knew you was their twin. But somehow they feel like they wasn't good enough for you. They wasn't strong enough for you as a strength card and the reverse popped out. Yeah, the emperor is here. This person overall became an emperor. They, you know, look at you as somebody that's an emperor. You have control over yourself. You have control over everything that you do. You don't sit back and let nobody control you, control your emotions or how you think or how you feel about people. And this is how this person look at you and they felt like they couldn't match you. So they stayed attached to this energy and racked up bad karma, judgment in the reverse. Yeah, now they're kind of standing at a two of wands. Stalemate. Don't know which way to go. Yeah, they could. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, the person that... This empress in the reverse is what I'm hearing. Standing at a stalemate, not knowing which way to go. As your twin just wanted you to wait for them.
Yeah, your twin wanted you to wait for them. And then the chariot is here. They're moving on forward from a situation after gaining clarity and truth. Yeah, page of swords. They have been watching you. Yeah, your twin, you know, could be sitting back just watching you over the internet, watching you at home with this page of swords. Or, you know, like, could live by you where they can, you know, see you. Yeah, nine of pentacles. They see you as somebody that mind your business. That's all they see, you know, as they watch you. Somebody that's single, sufficient, abundant, a boss. You stand out. You can stand on your own two feet. Very intuitive person that reads energy. And you also somebody that, you know, you're a boss. You have your own business. And they look at you as somebody that's, you know, celibate. You don't, you don't, you know, be around too many people. You don't even have sex with people. Yeah, they're attracted to you, Queen of Wands. They see you as somebody that's very attractive. They have a lot of passion for you. They see you as somebody that's gifted, talented, your goal. You you focusing on your goals right now. You focusing on being a leader. And you're just standing in, you know, standing in the energy that you're supposed to be in. This person is admiring you. Yeah, tower. A lot of people going through towers, dealing with an overflow of bad choices. Yeah, the people that were, you know, thought they were smarter than you or smarter than your twin. They were at the seven of swords being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes, lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing, being dishonest and just using people for whatever they can get. And they were so used to doing it, you know, over and over again. They thought they were, you know. Never get caught up at the Eight of Swords. Never be binded at the Eight of Swords for debts that they owe to the devil for their wrongdoings. Yeah, Eight of Swords is here. They thought they would never get caught at the Eight of Swords as they haven't been at the Seven of Swords, sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. They got caught. Now they're binded and blinded to the devil for debts that's owed. For their wrongdoings. Eight of Swords. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles is here. Your twin see, see you as somebody that's, you know, just working on yourself more and more. As your twin know exactly who you are. And the more and more you work on yourself, the more and more your twin wants to work on his self or work on herself. Could want to work on a business with you. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, four of Pentacles. Could be still dealing with some insecurities from, you know, being battered and bruised and something occurring over and over again. But overall, you know, it's trying to hold on to you. Could be just being stingy with time, money, energy, and not trusting nobody. Being mindful of what they give their time, money, and energy to. And just moving in silence. They don't even want people to know. Especially the people that were at the Seven of Swords and Five of Swords wanting to sabotage this connection. Yeah, Knight of Swords in the reverse. Knight of Swords in reverse. They can no longer come in quick and lie, you know, with rumors, negative gossip, slander. And your twin isn't mad either, you know, about the people that were trying to sabotage his connection. He's not mad. He's not upset. He know you're not mad. So he's not mad. Yeah, he's sitting at the nine of cups and just see you as his wish fulfillment. 